What's up guys, the Fat Camel here. Welcome to part 9 of me raising a channel. So last time I was level 19 and <laughs> I'm now level 30. So I I just I just get into this habit where I just like I don't know where I, when I when I'm feeling it, when I'm on fire, I just like go I just go crazy. So uh, what I did was I uh, finished the campaign in Vertron. Let me see here. Completed. Yeah, I finished all the campaigns in Vertron, and that got me into around like 23-ish, 22-ish, and then I I ran uh, Hotmail one more time. A total total of total. Uh, I ran Hotmail like three times or four times. In total um, but you can do you can definitely do more than that and that's gonna be that's gonna mean more levels but when you're like level let's say like 21 or above you're not gonna get as much XP for doing how to mail so what I did was uh, finish all the campaign in Vertron and uh, ran how to mail one more time and then what I did, I, I was like 24 by the time I finished all that. And what I did was I came to Elton and I did some of um, the quests that are just lying, you know, just random quests that are just um, like right, 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 right outside of the fortress. Like over here, like the uh, Crimson Tail for, uh, you know, all these, all these like random quests. There's a bunch of them. You, you should pick them up and whenever you... Um, you know, whenever whenever you you pick up quest, you should look for um, you should look for a, a hunting quest instead of like a gathering or like a um, like delivery quest. Cause hunting ones gives you the most like XP. Cause you're you're getting XP for killing stuff, and you're getting XP for completing the quest. So you should always you should always take those uh, hunting quests. Uh, in pri like prior and pr prioritize the hunting ones uh, rather than the uh, gathering ones or the delivery ones. So, anyways, I did like random quest and I reached twenty five. And last night I ran uh, NTC once and then I did it again because I had this uh, scroll, but it's a twelve hour cooldown. So I, I wanted to use I wanted to run NTC and then reuse it right after and um run it again so i i you know i today i can run twice again so as you can see my cooldown on ntc is is uh none so i can run this i, I can run ntc right now and after that because uh, this scroll is about to come off a cooldown like only 37 minutes uh i can use this and then run ntc again and what I did was I have this uh I, I talked about this Berlin's 50% XP amulet. So I got this from like um when I used to play way back in the day when it was paid pay to play. Um and they would give out events and like bonuses and shit like that every every month for every month cuz you subscribe to, to them like every month. Um it was like a gift. So I have I have 12 of these. Um, I'm pretty sure you can sell them. No, it's unsellable actually. No. Uh, but what you can do is go to the website, go to the website, and then there's uh, uh, on um, Black Cloud Market right now. Uh, Black Black Cloud Marketplace. There is like um, you know, there's a XP bonus amulets, and you can buy them for you know pretty cheap. But you have to buy like end coins to do that. But if you don't want to spend any money, it's it's fine. It's only I mean it's it's only gonna make you level up quicker. That's all it. That's all it's gonna do. I mean you can you can you can not have this and still level as quickly as um, at, at this level. It's not hard, and you can only use it when you're 39 and or below. So yeah, but anyways, I did all the uh, campaign in Virtron. I came to Elton and I did the. Uh, I did some random quest. Uh, got to 25. Run an ran NTC twice. Uh, the reason I didn't record it last night was because it was really late and my uh, my parents were sleeping, 
and I didn't really wanna, you know, record when my parents were sleeping downstairs. I don't know. I I just I I also I didn't really feel like recording, <laughs> cause I I don't know. I I was just running. Um, I I don't know. I just kind of felt like ran, running um, NTC, and then after that I I reached like, okay, so NTC is ridiculous because I ran it twice and I was like 25. And I got to like 29. Actually, I got to 30 just by doing NTC twice. But I had the uh, amulet up. I had the 50% uh, um, XP amulet up. And the first time I ran it, it was only three people. It was a, a gladiator, a ranger, and myself. And I just healed the gladiator. And the gladiator was like a uh, kind of high level. So I got tons of experience because obviously... If you have less people in your group, you're gonna get more XP for each person, you know, for each monster kill. So I did that first time. It was like three people. Second time it was four people. So whenever you're trying to get XP, you should uh, get well geared, high level, not too high level because if they're really high level, then you're not gonna get the same XP. So you're you if you you. Uh, what I'm trying to say is when you run NTC you're gonna and try to level out of it you if you're trying to get the most XP out of it you should uh, you know you should uh, what you call it um, get a few uh, like more like the less people you have it's the better at leveling so I mean it's gonna go pretty slow you know but uh, you know, you're, you obviously you're gonna kill slower than when you have six people in the party. But still, like NTC is not that hard. You can do it with like two people, a healer and a DPSer. Uh, it's really not that hard. Uh, if you're if you're well geared enough, you can do it. But um, at 25, there isn't really much gear. Uh, only thing I can think of is this thing. Let me show you guys uh, the coin the bronze coin uh, set which is the Ilio 7 rank 7 yeah the the blue ones rank 7 ones uh, these uh, buy buy this set and it's only like 44 bronze coins and you should have it by then and if you don't you can buy them off a of broker per for pretty cheap it's like it's like 20k uh, for one coin and you, you only need 44 coins and you should, uh, you should, uh, you know, enchant these, and also weapons. So that's gonna be like sixty, what, sixty-three. Uh, if you have two-handed weapons, but if you have double-handed, um, like shield, let's say shield and a maze, it's gonna take seventy-six. But anyways, yeah, that's the best thing I could think of at level twenty-five. But it's actually level twenty-six. You gotta be level twenty-six to wear these. So other than that, um, yeah, that's the best gear I can think of right now. Um, at 30, uh, like I said before, I had the um, the Devanian armor, the level 30 set. Uh, you get these by having five five or more uh, level 30 characters. At level 30, you can go to Sanctum, and I believe the quest is called sages teachings or whatever no it's called sages uh, me meeting the sages the first the first quest is called meeting the sages and you follow the quest line and then you um, you you're gonna have to spend some money it's not much not at all it's less than like hundred thousand but you're gonna have to spend some money and uh, you know complete that quest and when you complete that quest you get a you get one piece of armor and you can only have one piece of armor for one character and you know obviously level 30 you need level, level uh, you, you need five level 30 characters to have all five uh, pieces of the armor and when you have all five pieces of the armor you can uh, accept this quest which is a sage, sage's gift and you can have a weapon of your choice and I'm, I'm in the process of doing it um, this one is kinda hard because you have to get <laughs> 150 ancient energy by hunting all these um, monsters in the desert and it's not like every kill is a drop 
guaranteed um, it can be pretty rare so it's kind of frustrating but when you get 150 of those you go back to um, sanctum and then turn it in and I believe you have to do one more thing after uh, completing this part of the quest I believe you have to do something else I, I forgot what it is but after doing that you get a weapon and same thing with the weapon you can exchange it with um, hang on, let me, I have a yeah it's Divinian Light you can pick these up at um, over here oh that's for sure meant to go to Sanctum. Yeah, Divinian Road, it's like right here. Uh, you can go buy these. They're like 93k each. Um, so you need five of them or six of them if you have a weapon. And you can exchange it to any kind of armor. Like, I have a, you know, I had a, for my Templar, I had the, um, the plate version of this. But you can turn it in and get the uh, chain version of it or you can turn it in to get the leather version of it or the cloth cloth version of it same thing you can do with the weapons uh, not this one but I have it in my warehouse um, the the great sword that I had for my Templar let me show you guys real quick yeah this thing a courageous sword that's the Divinian um, great sword that's the level 30 uh, you know level 30 uh, Divinian weapon so you can exchange this with uh, Divinian light and you can exchange it to any kind of weapons you want um, yeah but anyways that was that so I got to 30 and it's really important when you get to 30 or 25 yeah, when you when you hit 25, complete this in campaign. It's this is gonna show. Uh, it's called um, yeah, abyss entry, abyss entry quest. So there are four campaigns. They're pretty easy to do. You just take quizzes and you go to the Colosseum and kill some monsters. But when you hit 25, do this as quickly as possible, cause um, by doing this you can go to abyss and. Uh, if you if you guys don't know, you can go to Abyss by uh, being in Eltonin. I'm in Eltonin right now, and you go all the way down, and you uh, teleport to this uh, Eltonin Abyss gate. You use this, but you have to complete the entry quest first, and then you go to Abyss, and um, at level 25. And let me show you on the map here. You go talk to this guy. He's like over here somewhere. He's he's his name is like ne Neberus or something. Ne rub ne yeah, it's called it's N E B something. But yeah, uh you need to do that so you can do the um hang on, let me let me see I can if I can find the quest that I did. Um I'm pretty sure I Hang on, I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, it's this guy, ne Neri, Ner, Nerius. Yeah, Nerius. Uh, you go talk to that guy, and he gives you a. He gives you a fortress weapon. And then you go to NTC and then destroy the fortress gate. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean if I um, if I ever find the group right now to run NTC. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna run NTC right now. I'm gonna go to fast track server right now and show you guys what you mean, what I mean. So let's go to let's head over to the fast track server. Yep, I'm at uh, 
fast track server right now. Um, uh, there's no there's no post right now, so I'm gonna make it myself. Uh, you can do this by uh, doing Shift V, and then it, this this window pops up, and you can post offer, and you can do you know whatever you can post whatever you want to do, um, and then uh, people apply to join your group, and then you can accept or de decline their offers. So, anyways, uh, yeah, at, at level twenty five, you do. Um, you do the abyss entry quest and you have to go talk to Nebris, ne Nereus, and then um, he gives you a quest and then he gives you a uh, abyss uh, siege weapon and then you go to NTC and then you destroy the gate and then you destroy the final boss and then you turn it in and that gives you um, if you guys didn't know the uh, uh, on the uh, Ion website it's called the Atlas um, something and what it does is it gives you um, items like bonus items uh, for doing certain quests like for when you're when you're raising a character I, I'm sure you guys I, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah you have to you have to talk to this guy don't make the mistake of coming to a uh, fast track server and talking to this guy who gives he who gives you the same exact quest but it doesn't it doesn't it's not the same because if you complete this version of the quest you can't get the uh, you can't get this basically um, yeah one of these uh, the the bonus item is a ring an uh level 30 abyss ring and a bunch of the like enchantment stones i forget exactly what it is but mm, the important one is this the level 30 uh abyss ring which is really good it's it's actually it's it's really good like it's it's one of the best rings at level 30 i mean yeah it's the best ring <laughs> at level 30 actually so yeah, um, I'm gonna go over my gear real quick. I ha I I um I got this on my gunslinger because I had enough uh, abyss points, so I got the level 30 um you know staff, el elite staff. I didn't army fuse it with something else because I I couldn't find anything useful. Yeah, I couldn't find anything. Um, I could put under here. Maybe I could put this, but I mean the critical strike and MP, it's good and all. But I only have the three uh, mana stop mana mana stone slots, and I actually want four under here. So I didn't I didn't arm refuse it with anything else, but it should be fine. But anyways, um, we're looking for a group here. Oh, oops. I meant to post DPS, not PDS. Uh, yeah, you go, you um, you look for a group like this, and then um, yeah, what I did was I reached uh, level thirty and I ran Fire Temple once yesterday, and that's why I'm almost level thirty one. And Fire Temple doesn't really give as much XP as NTC, but uh, yeah. It's taking it's taking a while to get a group going, but uh, just uh, wait patiently, guys. Uh, yeah, that's uh, let's go over my armor. Yeah, the uh, the Devanian armor level tens. Uh, I mean, I spent I spent some money because like when you exchange it from chain to uh, I mean not chain from plate to chain, the uh, the enchantment goes down, the enchantment goes away, and the mana stone socket goes away. It's just like a brand new armor, you know. There's no enchantment on it, or there's no mana stone on it, so I had to equip everything once again, and enchant it back once again. But it's not that bad because it's level thirty. So you, what you can do is just buy like fifty, uh, fifty plus man enchantment stones, 
and then just uh you know just uh do that and the, uh, the level 50 enchantment stones is not expensive at all it's like under uh, 100k for each of them um, so yeah I enchanted I, I enchanted all of them to level 10 again and socketed mana stones on it uh, critical strike critical strike uh, attack 4 attack 4 and critical strike as a channel you want to go for critical strikes and um, attack and maybe accuracy if you're missing some stuff but I wasn't missing uh, a lot of stuff so um, and on my on my staff I equipped it with uh, a bunch of critical strikes so yeah let me show you guys uh, like dueling real quick if I can get to um, if I can get to a duel for somebody to duel for me with me He declined it. Yeah, I'm dueling this uh ranger. <laughs> do anything to me I didn't even have to heal yeah that's what uh I mean it's pretty good gear like all, all this is um it's really it's really good gear like look out look at all the bonus that it gives it gives me magic magic resist and physical defense 54 mi physical defense that's ridiculous and 27 invasion on the first first equipped effect gives me HP 225 of them MP and 10, 10 attack which is ridiculous 20, 24 magic boost is also pretty ridiculous and a pack, uh, effect 4 gives me magic resist again physical defense again and invasion equip 5 and it gives me HP again and critical strike 40 which is ridiculous and it gives me oh wait did they already go inside? <laughs> they are. They did go inside. <laughs> I was too busy. Uh, I was too busy dueling that guy. But yeah, uh, let me let me go inside. Yeah, and the set effect, which is like the same thing as equipping all five, you know, it gives me twelve percent speed and fly time and magic resist. So it's really good set, like. It's almost as good as the uh, level 30 elite set. Yep. Uh, let's make it uh, FFA. Free for all. For everybody to loot. Yeah, but channers all channers only have uh, like three attacking still skills, but uh, uh, we do have a lot of ma mantras. So, uh, let me go over these mantras again. Uh, the speed, I've, I've showed you guys that I think, and there's a revival mantra, which um, which uh, you know 
slowly gains your HP and there's a Clement Mind mantra which is the uh, same thing with but with mana. It's like 17 mana every 6 seconds, yeah. Look at that, like e each kill is gonna give me, wow. Like they give me, how much? Ha almost 200k HP, I mean XP. Which like, it, it, NTC is such a good uh, experience. I'm, I'm, I'm already level 31, you know, it's, ri it's ridiculous. I don't know why these guys are just skipping monsters. We should kill. We should kill everything because it's such a good XP. Oh wow! Whoa! Well, there. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't need this mantra because we have a song weaver, and song weavers have. Uh, maybe I should put magic mantra on. I don't know. Speed is pretty good though. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? Somebody. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm not really commentating over here. I'm kind of concentrating on the chat and stuff. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, this is the gate I was talking about. So at 25, you go to Nerebus, Nereus, or whatever, how do you, however you pronounce that name. Nereus, and then you uh, accept that quest, and then he gives you a siege weapon, and you destroy this gate right here. You have to go to your inventory and actually click on it to summon the siege weapon. 
and uh, that gives you the, um, it's like a it's like a spirit master pet and it, it has like a pet bar and you have to tell it to attack the gate it does like a ridiculous amount of damage to the gate uh, it's much faster than um, us attacking it with our weapons but yeah so if you have a siege weapon use it um, destroy the gate and when you knock this gate down there's a boss inside Oh, there it is. There's a siege weapon. Yeah, it's like a pet. Somebody summoned it. Um, yeah, that's a siege weapon. And then you tell it to attack, and it does like... Let me show you how much damage it does. I'm gonna stop attacking. Because it's gonna... Oh, look at that. It chunked it. It does like 22,000 damage or something like that. But anyways, yeah. Uh, destroy the gate. And then... Uh, some monsters come uh, try to defend it. You go inside and you kill, you clear all these because if you try to pull the captain, which is the boss, well not the captain, I don't know, I don't know if he's called the captain. All these, all these uh, monsters down below and upstairs, I don't know about upstairs, but all, all the monsters will aggro and that's gonna be not fun. I mean, it might it might look easy, but you know. Actually, let me turn off uh, this and put on magic intro because we, all we have is magic damage. Like we have a song weaver and a, a cleric and a spear master. Like we have no leather, so might as well put on the uh, the magic mantra for the extra magic boost and the ma uh, magic accuracy. It's oh, it's 30 now. Nice. Yeah, extra 30 magic boost and magic accuracy for more damage. And pop a potion. Yeah, I love I love that about Chainer because uh ma mantra um you can adjust it to the party members that you have. Uh, if you have a lot of leather and physical attack, you can put on uh, intensity mantra which I get like next level which is uh, a critical strike mantra so you, you have the victory, ma victory mantra which gives you physical attack and then you put on the critical strike because uh, you know rangers and uh, assassins and what have you can always always use more critical strikes Even even Templars and Gladiators that go for uh, in, uh, critical strikes and Chanters as well. I you know critical strike is just good in this game. Well, in any game, critical strike is really good. <laughs> yeah, so my uh, critical critical strike rate is pretty high. Uh, I don't know what it is exactly. Let me show. Let me see. It is 443, which is not bad at all. That is pretty, pretty darn good at this level. Cause my ranger, who is like 44 or 45 right now, has like around 540 uh, critical strikes. So that is not bad at all. Uh, let me learn these skills. Oh, now I have a uh, wow. Blasting of hell. I'm doing it like the middle of the uh, <laughs> middle of the uh, combat, but it's okay. Incandescent blow. Uh, intensity mantra. There it is. Critical strike. So put that on here. Really good. I'm gonna actually disable magic and put uh, intensity on right now. 
promise of the wind and what else did I learn Wow yes Wow is actually what makes chanter so good in group situations because it increases speed by 20 and attack speed by 20 for all your party members and yourself by five minutes So what's my critical strike in right now? But with the intensity... Okay, it's at 473 and if I de deactivate it... Wait, what? Oh, it's at... Um, oh wow, it goes up by like... 30 something percent. Oh, 30 actually, exactly 30. So that's really good. Awesome. Yeah, that guy wanted to join, but it would be a waste because we're almost done. Wait, what chain is this? Uh, oh, okay. I wonder why I can't use it. I don't think I've used it one time. But anyways, here's the boss, the general. I don't know. I pop, I don't know why I popped a uh, wow just now. What the heck? What's wrong? What the heck is wrong with this? All right, I think I got disconnected. But yeah, that's basically uh, NTC. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I popped wow, but uh, yeah, I think I disconnected for something. I don't know. I think it's the internet maybe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a the, that was a full run of NTC. After we killed this boss, um, it's basically over. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode.